Will you stop moping around like a wet weekend? You're making the place look untidy. Oh, cheers for the sympathy. Ed. Well, you might not be able to anyway. I mean, they're not going to let parents testify, are they? I presume you just say whatever to get them off. So being under oath doesn't mean anything? Oh, like you wouldn't lie if you had to. I wouldn't have to, though, would I? Because Aaron's told them what he did and why he did it. All right, girls, let's just leave it, because we're not in court now, yeah? Probably why you're not going on the stand. Oh, come to life now, have you? Have you been sitting around scaring my customers all morning because your five-minute relationship's gone pop? Chaz. No! I've had stuff in my fridge longer than they've known each other. I was only saying... Well, don't, thank you very much, because I really don't need advice from you. Oh, she's just a kid. Well, if she can dish it out. Peace offering. Trying to get me fat. Oh, don't think you have to worry about that. So, what are you doing? Not a lot. Not looking for a new boyfriend on one of them dodgy websites, are you? I'm not that sad. Listen, um, I didn't mean what I said about you and Alex earlier. Doesn't matter. And you're right, anyway. We haven't been together that long. Yeah, but it doesn't stop it hurting when they act like complete tall rags, does it? Well, I'm better off without him, if that's what he thinks of me. Do you not think you went a tad too far chucking a pint in his lap? That's right, Chaz, cos you've never been one to kick off when a bloke's done something bad to you. You got me there. Maybe I overreacted a little bit. Right. So you haven't written him off entirely? I don't know. But I am not begging for anything. He's got to come to me. No, if you want him, you go and get him. It's us girls that hold grudges, not blokes. They're far more straightforward. A bit like dogs. What are you being so nice for, anyway? Thought I was getting on your nerves. Yes, you were. But I shouldn't have snapped. It's Aaron's flaming barrister I want to take chunks out of. He won't take a phone call without an appointment, and his secretary's been blocking me all morning. What's his name? Gerald Lawson, QC. Well, then, why don't we see if we can get his direct line? Bypass the Pitbull secretary. Hmm. Shove up. I need to go home and come back on me waterproofs. Well, that depends. What have you done now? Look, I just want to make sure everything's all right. Don't want there to be any bad feeling. Right. Oh, I can't leave things the way they were. No, especially when there's so much riding on it. I mean, I don't want to be barred from me local pub, do I? I'll throw this over you in a minute. Be worth it, you say you'll forgive me. So, we're OK? Yeah. Take more than a wet lap to put me off you. Although I do have to warn you, if you do it again, you'll get one right back over you. Deal? Deal. Huh. Made those drinks last. Yeah, well, we broke till payday. You want to worry when you broke on payday, love. Hey, there's more to life than work and money. Uh, is that why you wanted to get back with me? Yeah, I just know you can't live without this. See ya. Bye. Don't forget to come up for air. <laughs> They've made up again, then. Here did you have this? Hey, steak and kidney is on special if you fancy it. Oh, it's tempting, but I'm off to pick the boss up. Why don't you surprise her? Does it no good to neglect your wife, does it, Eric? I, I know, my little barracuda. <laughs> <laughs> See you in an hour, then? Yeah, go on, then. Sweet talker. <laughs> on. See ya. Hi. Where's my in back to the party of the year? Or has it been cancelled? God, I'm so bored. It's dead in there tonight. Oh, well, then will you bring us out some chips? I'm gonna take away. Go and steal from your own kitchen. We already did. And we can't go back in there clanking, can we? Are you around his like? Well, we're quite fancy and knows around your new place. So when would you finish? Oh, look, I don't know. I don't want to push it with Val and Eric. Go on, don't be tight. Oh, fine, well, we'll just see you later. Go on, then. I'll see you around there in a bit, and I'll give you the guide to her. Nice one. And save us some time. Thanks. This place is boss, isn't it? 
my room. You are so lucky. <sighs> Did you bring any food? Yeah, I've got some butties in my bag. Got some wine too. Told you she was a star. Is this the perfect party house or what? Yeah, therefore. I mean, this could be the party to end all parties. Knew it. Told you she was all mouth. No, I'm not. Chicken there. Yeah, but you can't blame her, can you? I mean, Val and Pollard aren't daft. Never get away with it. I like a challenge. So you're gonna do it then? Got some bottle. Well, just as long as you remember to bring some of your fit mates. So when is it? Saturday? Uh, not this weekend. They're bringing some more stuff in. All right. Monday. Whatever. Good night as ever.